毎度どうもコライオンです。少し前にも日本の大手メーカーが水で走る車を開発し、話題になっていましたが、いつの間にか影を潜めてしまっています。しかしながら、実は90年代から水で走る車はすでにアメリカのスタンリー・マイヤー氏によって開発されていました。その構造は簡単。水を電気分解し、水素を発生させ、酸素で爆発させるという単純な仕掛け。1ガロン。3.785 リットルの水道水で100マイル約160キロメートルも走るという超エコカー。スタンリー氏は特許も取得しました。これが実際にスタンリー・マイヤー氏らが作った車の映像です。If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. Meyer started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. Meyer was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. And we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Meyer's invention. There is talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Meyer is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. It will be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The day it happens will be one the fuel industry hates, but it will put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. I'm Ralph Robbins. As you can see, many patents have already been received and many more are forthcoming. To date, over 42 patents have been applied for. しかし、宿配の場で乾杯したサンリーのクラスに異物が混入されていたらしく、彼は激しい用途に見舞われ、57歳の生涯を終えました。コロンバス市警、コロンバス市警察署は、死因を病死と発表。彼の死から1週間後、マイヤー氏の水で走る車は全て盗まれてしまいました。最後に、最近の水で走るバイクの映像をご覧ください。